Well, it is that time of month when we uh, talk with Jan McNeilan about the tips of the garden, and I'm here with Jan right now. And Jan, what, what are you doing? <laughs> you well, gotta... you and Judy always get to clown around at the beginning of the show, so I thought I would. Well, you, you are splendidly doing it. <laughs> these are uh, these are fundraiser for kids for school supplies, so I thought I'd get one and help support that and, and do good play things a trick and on laugh you. too. Yeah, right. <laughs> yep. We're going to so, talk about what transplanting first. Yeah, let's talk about that because I think a lot of us get scared in the summertime, or what's even worse is we'll do it but then we don't do something that's really necessary. <laughs> yeah, we just, um, we just transplanted this rhododendron here and mudded it in because it was hot during that time. Let's define the mudding in though. What does mudding that mean? Mudding in means you dig the hole, you put the hose in the hole, and then you put the plant in and let it literally be mud around all the roots of the system. But then after that, you need to keep it moist or at least watered all through the summer and into the fall. And you know, when we were talking earlier, I actually heard you say, really, water through October. That yeah, is well, the until fall, the rain really hits. Starts kicking like, in. Well, probably end of September, you could get away with it. Right, because even, even uh, plants that are, are uh, you know, don't like moisture at all, if you're planting something and yeah. moving it, you have to give yeah, it that attention. You do. Wonderful. You do. What else you got for us? Uh, we move plants. I also have. I did this before a few years back, but just to show you, if you have arthritic hands like I do, you can take a piece of pipe wrap and just wrap it around the handles of your tools um, with duct tape or whatever right. and just soften it and it helps. And they're very yeah. inexpensive. You oh, get like yeah, three you can get like package. three or four yeah. Yeah, in a package. So I just wanted to bring that up because I didn't want to forget to it do that. It also keeps you from getting splinters, which I get off. Right. <laughs> um, and then. Our strawberries in the back in the raised beds are blooming right now and a lot of times when people see them bloom they want to fertilize right away and they don't have to but you if you're going to fertilize which would help use a 510-10 something with a lower nitrogen so that you're not going to all leaf and not fruit right. and then in August you cut them all back all the runners everything cut them plants right down to the crown and then fertilize with a triple 16 uh, complete fertilizer. And you know, we did a segment with you years ago about you use your mower to uh, yeah, mow them down. Yeah, I just mowed the whole row. <laughs> so it doesn't it have does, to be no, science, mm -mm, it can be easy. No, no. And then I wanted to show you the lemon again. Oh, oh, is it still alive? Yeah. Well, let's go to the okay. greenhouse. <laughs> okay, Jan. We are, we are here with the lemon tree, which is beautiful and covered in blooms. Look at this, here, here, here. There's some over here, some on this other side. It's just not gonna give up. So um, it didn't look very good. It's curling leaves, but it has no mealy bug, no scale, it was just cold. So we'll see what this produces. It was just teasing you. <laughs> uh, I guess so. I actually wrote something this morning and said to my friend Sally that gave me this that I was thinking about getting another one to keep it company. Well, it gets lonely, but obviously not. It's very no, happy. <laughs> no, The other thing I want to talk about is reusing potting soil. You know, you, right. you, it's expensive and you uh, want to reuse it. It doesn't hurt to reuse it if it's fluffy enough or you can scratch it up enough. Maybe just use half in the bottom of a new pot right. and new soil on the top. Just keep in mind that what you've done the year before is deplete all the old potting soil of any nutrients at all. Okay. So just make sure you're going to fertilize. Well, there you have it. So remember, we'll do this again next month for more tips of the garden. Thanks, Jen. Bye.